Brains is a clocked sequential binary event machine. What this means is that it can be connected to one or two pressure points modules to turn them into a four or eight step sequencer. Without brains, pressure points stages are accessed exclusively by manual control of touch plates. Brains adds the option of using several gate inputs to select stages by patching. Each gate received in the clock input causes the stage selection to move forward by one stage. Reset does what you might expect, but due to the tactile nature of pressure points, you are not limited to resetting to stage 1. Rather, it will reset to the last stage you touched. Using a stage's gate output to reset and then selecting different reset points makes it easy to change the number of steps in the sequence on the fly. You can even stick it to a single step so it doesn't move at all. The run input is normal to gate high whenever there is no cable in the jack, which is a good thing because if gate is not high at this input, the sequence will not move. We can use this to start and stop the sequence at will or rhythmically. Using a tuned voltage output to simulate gate high lets us fire off one-shot sequences manually. When gate is high in the direction input, the sequence moves to the right. When gate goes low, the sequence moves to the left. This can be used creatively to make variations or longer sequences built up of smaller pieces. With brains connected, the gate outputs of pressure points change behavior. Now, at any given time, exactly one gate is high, that of the active stage. This allows patches like the reset patch shown earlier in the video. The touch gates that go high when plates are touched are now bussed to the T gate output. The pressure outputs function the same as if brains were not connected. The T clock input must see gate high in order for touch plates to be used to select stages. With no cable in the jack, it is always high, and we can select stage by touch at any time. With a dummy cable in the jack, it always sees gate low, and we can never select stage by touch. This lets us use the pressure and T-gate outputs independently from a clock sequence of tuned voltages. If we molt the clock to the T-clock input, we can only interrupt the sequence when the clock gate goes high. This forces all manual interruptions to occur in time with the master clock. The various inputs on brains can be combined to make this module setup much more powerful than a typical 4 or 8 stage analog step sequencer. See our video Brains Complex Sequencing linked in the description for some more in-depth patch ideas.